Hey everyone, it's Beth from RunToRace.com and I just wanted to give you a race update on the New Orleans Rock and Roll Half Marathon that I finished last weekend. So I'm going to talk about a few things today, um, mostly the race recap, so kind of the race itself and what I thought about the organization and the event, and then also my performance. So I want to talk about those couple things. Long story short, I did finish the race, so I'm very, very happy that I finished it. I finished it completely uninjured and healthy and, well, mostly healthy. I'll get into that in a minute. Um, and happy. Here's how it went. I think I did pretty well considering the circumstances. Um, you might hear I have a little rasp in my throat. I'm still kind of sick. So the whole week before the race, um, I felt like I was coming down with a cold, but I kept um, just like throwing all the vitamin C I could at it. Just lots of like zinc and airborne and like I took everything I could think of to get rid of this thing. And for the most part I was fine. Like the flight over there was great. Um, the day before was fine. I thought, again, kind of, you know, you have that little, like, I kind of feel sick feeling, but um, you can still function. That's that's where I was, and I was pretty happy with that, um, that I wasn't having, like, full flu symptoms or anything the day before race. Um, all that was pretty much fine, and, you know, the trip there was uneventful and just great. But the night before, I got some really bad, like, pre-race jitters, and I didn't sleep well before the race. The night before that, I slept okay. Um, but it was in a hotel and it's not like, you know, your own bed, so things were a little bit different. The night before, I didn't sleep at all. I think maybe like three really light, sporadic hours of sleep just because I was so nervous about the race. And I wasn't even nervous like I couldn't finish it. It was more um, like nervous, just excited about it, I guess. Like I, I didn't think I had anything to worry about. And I wasn't stressing over certain things. I was just, I knew the race was tomorrow and I was just thinking about it a lot and had trouble sleeping. So um, those two things I do think affected my performance more than I would have liked them to. But all things considered, I think that it's really hard to get a perfect race day too. So I'm not gonna beat myself up over it. If it wasn't that, um, the weather could have been bad or um, something could have come up where I forgot an important item that I needed, you know, on the course. I mean, there's a number of things that could have happened and it's really hard to get um, one of those events, at least I'm learning, that is perfect where you have every single thing you need and everything goes according to plan. It's just very difficult for that to happen. So all things considered, yeah, I think I did fine. Could have done better, maybe. I'll never know. I'll never do that race on that day ever again. So um, for what it was, I'm pretty proud of how I did. I pushed myself all race. Like, I don't think I could have put more into it than I did. I gave it my absolute all. I couldn't have run harder or smarter than I did. I did um, a really moderate pace for me, which is about um, 11.30 to start with. And then as I went on, I started to feel kind of worse sickness files. And then my pace slowed towards the end of the race. It's also hotter than I'm used to because it um, was in Louisiana and not Minnesota. So it's a little bit different weather. But yeah, it was it was fine. And I, I'm really proud that I didn't go out too fast. And I'm proud that I didn't ever I hurt myself on the race by trying to do something crazy like sprinting or um, sometimes intervals will mess with me. So I didn't do that either. I just walked through um, just water stations and for nutrition, that was the only walking. It was just like a real steady, um, but quick for me pace the rest of the way. I finished and I finished, I think six minutes faster than I did the last rock and roll half marathon, which might've been my last race that I did, my last, my last half actually that I did before this. So I'm um, considering that and coming back from injury and being sick um, in the heat, I think I did pretty well. And I'm really happy with that. I do want to show you my medal. So this is the medal. And it is um, the cathedral. I don't know if it'll focus, it's not focusing. And then um, it's the, the Joan of Arc statue in New Orleans right there. So it's pretty cool. And I like this one because I like when they put the date of the event on on the metal. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like right up. I don't think I'll focus. I really, I loved the event. The event was very well organized. The snacks afterwards were about average, but uh, the event itself was great. The course was completely flat, lots of shady spots. I couldn't ask for anything more on the course itself. It was, I mean, you couldn't have asked for a better day. The weather was gorgeous and it was just super fun. Lots of bands. They had like bubbles blowing at one point and lots of music and lights and um, definitely the atmosphere that I'm growing to kind of expect with the rock and roll series. So 
that was really, um, really great. So I really did enjoy that. After the race was done, I completely lost my voice. Like I, I thought I was gonna fall over. I was so nauseous. I felt really, really sick. All of a sudden the sickness that I'd been like pushing off and delaying for days after <laughs> running a hard race um, just kicked in. Like I couldn't talk. It, like I was completely silent, nothing, like no voice at all, like nothing. I was completely nauseous. I was gonna be sick. I just sat on the grass, like my nose would not stop running. It was like all of a sudden all these symptoms were like, just hitting me at once and I just had to just sit there on the grass and stop feeling dizzy and just focus on you know hydrating and feeling better and that was one thing that I did also mess up this race that's one the one thing I think I could have done differently is I could have fueled better in the morning since I had such a bad night's sleep the night before um I was again jittery in the morning and still kind of just just nerves just anxious and I didn't eat what I should have eaten. I usually like um, oatmeal in the morning or a bagel or something and said I had these little, it was kind of like an oatmeal nutrition bar, but that was all I felt like I could eat. Anything else and I think I would have been sick. So um, that was not good and I knew I'd really messed that up when I got to the start and we were probably in the start corrals for about 45 minutes to an hour almost and <clears throat> I was starving. Like all of a sudden I was like, I have to eat. I was like super, super hungry, which is not how you want to feel when you go out for a race. All I had on me was three gels, because that's all I ever used for this distance ever, or three. I've never needed more, never needed less, and so all I took was my three and that was it. And wouldn't you know it, um, gosh, if I had one or two more, that might have made the difference. Or if I had brought like some kind of extra breakfast down to the start, that would have been fine. Um, so yeah, that's what I'll do next time, is I'll bring extra breakfast down to the start if I feel like um, I didn't eat what I should have. I mean, worst case scenario, I could have just you know pitched it in some trash can on my way, on my way out, but... Um, just didn't occur to me to do that. So <clears throat> again, learning experience, I'll do that next time. But um, I think that was part of my issue too. So yeah, that was it. After the race, I just kind of um, sat around and tried not to die, <laughs> waited for my friend Tara to finish, um, which was not too long after I would finished. And then um, she ran pretty hard for her as well too. And so we were both just exhausted and spent and we um, basically just looked at each other and said, where's the bus out of here? So we took the shuttle back to the hotel and just, you know, just like slept and hung out the rest of the day and it was just nice to relax. So that's pretty much uh, my trip to, to New Orleans. I'm going to do a blog post as well. So if you're interested in more um, detailed recap, I'll probably do more of like a mile by mile on that. Um, just because I don't want to bore you guys here with that. It's already getting pretty long. But um, yeah, that's it. That was my race. And thank you so much for watching as always. Really appreciate it. And um, if you like watching my journey to my first marathon, which is going to happen in May, May, uh, please do um, like and subscribe and share and comment. I love all the comments. So that's all I have. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.